Hey everybody, welcome back to the Big Money Influencer Summit. I'm Sienna, your host, and today I have the opportunity to sit down with Camille Davis, a lifestyle coach who works with women specifically and helps them to empower, get empowered, define their power, and decode their confidence and bring them back to a place often after divorce of where they can create wealth and um, find the purposes and calling that they have on their lives. Welcome, Camille Davis. Good afternoon, Camille. How are you today? I'm great, Sian. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Super fantastic. Good. So welcome. I'm glad that you're here. And I'm excited to chat with you about um, what you do, how you help people, and what you're creating in your life and your um, having a conversation with you around wealth. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here with you. Well, I'm excited that you're here. So first question is, what do you do um, in a nutshell? What do you do? Great question. So I uh, help women and I really help them to reclaim their uh, voice to ignite their power and really to build confidence. Um, I find that with us women, one of the things that we struggle with most is uh, tapping into our confidence. And uh, for me, I find that there's really a, a deep kind of disconnect. It's, it's painful and it's confusing, right? Because there's this disconnect between desire and want and the ability to make it happen. And that confidence piece is that piece in the middle right there uh, where I help to build that up. And so that's what I do mainly with women. So helping them to have their confidence where um, like in your teaching, I'm kind of going off the cuff a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, where does the confidence come from or how is that lost or... Uh, tell, talk to me about confidence a little bit more. Sure. So confidence comes from deep within, right? It's kind of a, a knowing uh, of your abilities. And so there are so many ways that confidence can be lost. It can be through situations or circumstance, uh, just through daily life, right? We come in contact with so many things. And if there was ever a, a great example of that, just take this past year, right? We all have been dealing with the situation uh, of the pandemic and women are asking themselves questions like, you know, can I handle this? Can I handle the children at home and, you know, the possible spouse at home and taking care of all those things and having dinner on the table. So, um, making sure that I'm present in my job as well as, as making sure that the children are doing what they need to do for school. So it's that, it's that questioning, you know, uh, can I do it? Or uh, sometimes the question is, am I good enough to do it? So those pieces right there. Oh yeah. Being a single, single woman and all my kids are out of the house and all like growing up and uh, moved and have their own lives. I can't even imagine everything that women are stepping into during this pandemic and right. you know, from school and doing school on Zoom and- Right. I mean, it's like all the things, right? We're trying to juggle like, you know, all the balls are in the air and it's kind of like, can I really do it? Can I, and not only can I do it, but even if I can do it, Sian, it's like, do I have the longevity to continue to do it? Like, can I maintain this? Am I confident enough to know that I'll be okay uh, moving forward and making this happen? So yeah, I totally get that. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you mentioned that you work with women. Yes. Is, is there like a, who's your who? I know that you know that expression. <laughs> like, who's your like ideal client that you work with? Yes. So I mainly work with Christian moms and I, I work with very specific segment of Christian moms. So these are moms who have um, experienced marriage trauma that ended in divorce. And so that trauma can show up in many different ways, right? So there's spiritual trauma, there's financial, there is uh, physical. 
And then of course there is mental and emotional. So, so many, four, about four different uh, aspects of trauma that one can experience in their marriage. And so I help them to work through that trauma and not only that, but to come out on the other end more confident and self-assured. Nice. Yeah. Is there like any certain like techniques that you use to, um, I totally identify with your, with your audience coming mm -hmm. similar situations of, um, but is there a certain techniques or um, that you can share um, of what you do with your clients? Yeah, that's a great question. So, so I deal mainly with the feelings of, so when you've experienced that type of trauma, right? Some of the main results of that or the feelings of that are those feelings of unworthiness or, and especially self-doubt as well, right? Um, maybe I don't make good decisions and you, know, you start to question yourself. So what I do and what I really have is a confidence building framework. Um, part of that framework that I use with women is a step-by-step -step process to help them um, first build their courage muscle, right? Because it's kind of like, well, I, I have to have the courage to do this. Not only the confidence, we'll get to the confidence later, right? But first, the first step is building the courage, right? So. Part of that is the BRAVE method and BRAVE stands for build resilience and activate valuable experiences. And so that can look a lot of different ways. Um, and we're talking about everyday experiences, right? So, so everyday living and in our everyday, in our day to day, we have to find little moments, right? That mean a lot. And so it's a step-by-step -step process. I always say to my ladies, baby steps, right? Because we want to get to the end. We want to <laughs> find the happiness again and we want to be okay, but it's a process. And so we have to start out, um, you know, taking smaller steps. Excellent. So yeah. let me ask you, what does wealth mean to you? So wealth means to me really is the freedom that I feel, right? Not only in my everyday but in all that I have. So it doesn't really matter what I have or how much I have or who is around me. It's the feeling I have within myself to know that it's enough, that I am enough, right? And um, that I'm deserving of all things good and great. That's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And as... Um coming out of like divorce and it's divorce can be such a, like an economic, um, put you in, like it's such an economic um, downfall for a lot of women. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, how, what difference like um, does your coaching make in the women that you serve in their economic, um, I don't want to say value or mm -hmm. maybe value. I don't know if that's the right word, but um not to like infuse esteem and their worth with their value, but like how do, how do you help women create more wealth in their life? Economic. Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So we start out first with the mindset, right? Of courage being currency, right? So I always say, this is, this is my life philosophy is that courage is your currency. If you have the courage to do something, you can make something happen. And so what I mean by that or what that can look like is the courage to step out of your comfort zone and do something that maybe you haven't done before. So I work with a lot of moms who were stay-at-home moms, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to now get back into the workforce. They're not really sure, you know, where their skill set fits in with that. Um, so we work on those things and we kind of see, well, what skills do you have? What have you done in the past? And how can that translate into uh, the career market space, you know, of sorts? And so I find with many of the women, um, they don't really understand the value of the skills that they do have, right? Because they just think, oh, I'm a stay-at-home mom. But if you, if you really think about it, right? We're talking about things of 
um, oversight and project management, right? You're, you're working out all of those things of the home. And also what I know to be true is uh, nowadays you don't necessarily have to have um, the, the time or the hours behind you because companies now will actually pour into their uh, workers and they will uh, give you that skill set. They are willing to train people nowadays to actually come into the company because here's the thing, right? They don't have to untrain you <laughs> because you haven't right. spent years in the industry. And so really they're working with a brand new canvas and then you can come into the company and they will train you with the skills that you need. And so I think mainly it's, it's helping women understand and have the confidence to just go out there into um, the uh, career space and to apply for those things and to look for those things. And not only in, uh, this, not only in the workplace, CN, but also maybe just within themselves. Maybe they want to start their own business. Maybe they want to go into ministry. Um, I have several clients who have done both of those. And so um, actually one started her own business in a ministry <laughs> of sorts. So it's, it's helping them find those skills as well within themselves. And sometimes they don't see that. Sometimes, you know, it takes someone else to see something in you before you see it in yourself. And so those are, so, those are some of the ways that we translate what the women are going through into helping them to build wealth, whether it's in the workspace or whether it's uh, their own personal business. That's awesome. That reminds me of when I used to help um, the people like homemakers mm. resumes to get back in the get back into the workspace. And That's awesome work. Yes. But this was this on paper. You're actually bringing this woman, your clients, into the reality of an, a teaching mindset. That's so powerful. Yeah. So, thank you. yeah. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Like any like nuggets or anything that um, you have on your heart to share today? Well, I would just like to say, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you have a, a mixed audience and I'm so excited to be able to speak to them. But I want to say to uh, not give up on yourself before you get started, right? So, so we're talking about building wealth and what does that mean to you? And that can look a lot of different ways for you. So don't get so stuck into what society says wealth is, right? Mm -hmm. Just know what it is for yourself and be confident and assured and okay in that. And I think that will take you a long way. Absolutely. I've been kind of, um, when I started this project out, and definitely downloaded from the more. This is the first summit that I've done, like been the host of, I've helped with other summits. And, um, you know, big money influencers. I was thinking, you know, talking to investors and I am talking to investors. And, but even the ones, the guest speakers that I've had that have created so much wealth in their life and they have the financial freedom that we all dream of. And it all comes back to, um, legacy and family yes and and feeling good and helping and serving people and that's just been really eye-opening to me even though I've known that yes but, but just hearing it and having that same conversation over and over again mm -hmm. now, um, and even like having the conversation about somebody that wins the lottery wow yeah and and often they they might win millions of dollars and then just a few years they've it's all gone because they, right. don't, they don't know what to do with it. They don't have the mindset. Um, they don't have the inner, inner peace and value that, um, that's important to creating wealth. And I think that you bring out like such a really, really, I mean, really on point with that because it, it really is about the mindset, right? It's about, how do we uh, not only build wealth, right? But how do we keep wealth? How do we make it part of our legacy? How do we pass it on? And so I think for the women that I work with, 
a lot of that has to do with, yeah, I need to think a little bit differently about this, right? Because for many of the women that I work with, uh, many of them come from situations where it was the masculine energy that was taking care of the finances, right? Mm -hmm. So now we have to have this mind shift of, well, now I am going to be the one in control. And then, but what do I do with that? You know, how do I multiply it? How do I make it expand for me? And so, yeah, I, I believe exactly what you said to be true. Um, it's, it's a mindset shift. And not only the mindset, but having the tools and the knowledge to then know what to do with it once you have it. So I'm with you on that. Yeah. So Camille, how can someone find you if they resonated with you and they want to work with you or they're like, want to sign up? I, you know, I'm going through the divorce and I'm in this place where I really need to find my value and, and um, how would they find you? Yes. Yeah, so anyone can find me, CN. Um, I am on the uh, social media platforms at Coach Camille Davis and my website as well, CoachCamilleDavis.com. <laughs> Wonderful. And I'll put that down underneath too. With okay, the great. Yes. So it's been amazing having a conversation with you and you're, you're so lovely and beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so is there anything else that you want to share before we exit? So I think maybe the last thing that I want to share is that, you know, you can recode your confidence uh, and you can upgrade your life. And if I could just share just a quick, just little uh, story for you all. Uh, you know, when I went through my own personal journey of divorce, uh, many of the things that I help my women with today uh, is exactly what I went through. And so uh, I had to step out into something new that was totally different for me that I had no clue about. Uh, but I want to let the people know that it can be done. Uh, building wealth uh, is possible for you. Um, and just to be able to make sure that you get the tools and the knowledge that you need to not only build it, but to multiply it. Mm -hmm. And what's coming to my mind as you're saying that, um, and we hear this often, is investing in, in yourself. Yes. Um, coming out of um, similar circumstances of, of um, a marriage that wasn't working. And I think it's really, really important for women to come to a point where they're worth it, investing yes. in themselves and getting the confidence of um, hiring a coach and a mentor mm -hmm. to kind of take them from where they are. Maybe they're broken to a woman with confidence. It's, it's amazing. Yes. It's important. It is so important. And I just so appreciate you just offering this platform and sharing the knowledge with people. And I'm sure it's going to not only impact them, but let them know that, yes, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. I so certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sienna. It was a pleasure. Yes. God bless you. You too. Take care. Mm -hmm.